Now we're going to do an introduction of the students, and what I would like to do is I'm going to start off by introducing the principal or key administrative or uh, staff from the school, and going to share a little uh, brief summary on what the school has done. And what I will say is that, uh, for the most part, each and every one of the institutions represented here has, uh, based upon numerous uh, years of traditions and values, and has contributed significantly to uh, our respective communities. And, and I really get personal with this because I've been doing this a long time. And I remember one of the first years I did this, uh, a young lady that was my secretary when I worked at the Job Corps program here in Edison, her daughter was the student of the uh, month and student of the year. And I actually had a conversation with her about a month ago and she graduated from Edison High, and now she is a doctor doing her residency program. And you know, and it's so great, and, and, and she was so thankful about the opportunity to be involved and recognize and doing things for the community. So for all of you out there, you know, years will fly by quickly for you, and you'll find yourself in positions where you're a physician, a doctor, a teacher, an educator, many different areas where you make a huge contribution. And I, and I have to tell you, it's, uh, it's going to be a great journey for you, and I look forward to seeing the successes out of each and every one of you. We'll start out, I'd like to uh, welcome uh, Mr. Uh, Principal Charles Ross. You can come up, please. Now, now, what I will say is, this is the point where you can show whether you like your principal. <laughs> And, you know, and there may be some valuable prizes at the end of it. The principal may not let you graduate. <laughs> so, um, Edison High School, the home of the Eagles, continues its growth as a top quality academic school. It's not folks. I'm used to dealing with rowdy kids. You know. uh, Edison High has added AP courses each of the past several years, increased the number of students passing AP exams, and increased the number of National Merit Scholars. Highlight of Eagle achievements this year included state champions in track, a first place trophy for award for the improv troop, group two open band state championship, losing in the nationals by two tenths of a point, numerous first place awards for our choirs, MSG varsity quiz bowl, going further than ever before, two Eagle scouts and two new sports. The Eagles look forward to next year with the construction of 10 new classrooms as part of a pre-engineering program and a turf field. These are all what's great about Edison High School. Of course, not forgetting our honorees tonight, and let, I'm going to allow the, uh, I'm going to certainly help uh, welcome uh, Principal Charles Ross as he introduces his students and we recognize them as a group. Thank you very much. And that's what's, uh, that's what's great about Edison High School, and I want to thank the Rotary, I'd like to thank Mayor Vesigliano, um, but most of all, all the parents and the students for allowing me the honor of being their principal. I'm going to call them up, and, and also want to welcome everyone here. I think we have a home field advantage, having our school less than a mile away, so welcome to South Edison. And coming up, when I call your name, Eagles, please come up to the front. Let's go starting off from the beginning of the year. We'll start with Christine Kim. Come up to the front. Stephen Flynn. Robert Weber. Kevin Eddy. Louise Luciani. Matthew Sugam. Lauren Requejo. Richard Perez. Niha Vachani. Parth with 1A Patel. Tori Islam. Alexander Adonitis. Megan Mulligan. Trevor Ryan. Rachel Groom, Min Din, Tracy Jeter Belinskis, Brandon Underwood, Nicole Yip, and the class of 2012 President John Fernandez.
These are the seniors of the month for the Edison High School. Please make them feel welcome as they exit the stage. Right. Next, I'd like to uh, um, welcome the Middlesex Academy and ask um, Ms. Rosemary Simmons to come up, please. Six Academy for Science, Mathematics, and Engineering Technologies finished its 10th year of operation as a rigorous college preparatory program. In June of 2011, the school is featured on the Discovery Channel under its profile series and was among America's best high schools by the U.S. News and World Report for the past three years. Despite its small senior class, the group finished second in the country, in the county, excuse me, among local high schools by donating over 9,000 pounds of non-perishable foods for the MCF, for the MC Foods, Middlesex County Foods, food donation by, uh, drive. The Academy, Academy Safety Ambassador, aka Interact Club, visited Lincoln Elementary School's first and second grades on March 29th to teach about safety. In addition, students from the Academy, Interact, and Red Cross Club joined the Friends of the Library on March 31st with a spelling bee that was held at J.P. Stevens High School in Edison. Please join me in welcoming Ms. Rosemary Simmons as she introduces Middlesex Academy's Seniors of the Month for the past, for the current uh, school year. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. I'd like to thank the Edison Rotary for making this all possible. And secondly, I'd like to congratulate not only the students from Middlesex County Academy, but all of the students. Congratulations on becoming the Students of the Month, and good luck in college, do great things. Now I'm going to call up our students, and they can introduce themselves to you one by one. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Hi, I'm Treyas. I'm Karen. I'm Alan. Good evening. I'm Rishi. <laughs> I'm Kunit. Hi, I'm Jacqueline. Hi, I'm Amy. Hi, I'm Monica. Hi, I'm Laura. Eric. Hello, Matt. Hi, I'm Trion. Gloria. Felix, wasn't a video. <laughs> Hi, I'm Levon. And I'm Kim. Well, that's all for real quickly here. I'm out there in the audience. I'm taking a look at here. I think this is a, a lineup at the police squad. Someone's getting a picture here of who did it. But anyway, these are the folks that did some good stuff this year. Let's make them feel welcome and thank you, folks. Right. <laughs> Next, I'd like to ask uh, Mr. John Anderson from uh, St. Joseph High. This year, St. Joseph's is celebrating the 50th anniversary in 2012. Recently, they honored Kevin Reinhardt, a graduate from the class of 2005, who sadly passed away on January the 19th, serving his second tour of duty in Afghanistan. The school recognized Kevin and his family with a gold star and has raised over $30,000 in his memory for a scholarship. Among academic accomplishments, Recent, uh, seen, recently, senior Alex Frey earned the title of National Individual History Champion of the United States, and the College Bowl team defended their News 12 NJ Challenge on March the 15th for the second consecutive year. In athletics, a school traditionally known in Middlesex County for their strong cross-country, swimming, basketball, and lacrosse teams, 
The St. Joe's basketball team beat Seton Hall Prep 77-68 for their first ever parochial A state title in school history. Let's extend a warm welcome to uh, Mr. Anderson as he introduces his Seniors of the Month for the school year 2011-2012. Thank you. On behalf of St. Joe's, we'd like to uh, <coughs> thank the Edison Rotary Club for all that they do in recognizing our students, not only ours, but all of them around. It's unfortunate that 10% of the teenagers get 90% of the press when 90% of the teenagers are doing the good things all throughout the United States, including Middlesex County. Some of our students are either studying uh, at some athletic events or some other activities. Uh, but I'll call all their names out, and when they're here, they can come on up. Brandon Allen, Thomas Barry IV, Harrison Burke, Patrick Cassidy, Santino Coza, Robert Dudek, Tyler Dugan, Timothy Dunn, Mark Ferris, Alexander Fry, Dylan Gallagher, Colin Miloski, Brian Prohaska, Joshua Rogan, Matthew Witkowski, Alexander Teresi, Steve Valenti, James Valentine, Brendan Williams, and Joseph Woodkowski. Congratulations, gentlemen. I'd like to ask uh, from J.P. Stevens High School, Dr. Shalop, Assistant Principal, to come up and help. And Meredith Quick, uh, both co-principals. John P. Stevens High School, home of the Hawks, is proud to be a welcoming school community in which students strive to live the six pillars of character. The school houses over 200 dedicated professionals who daily challenge the over 2,000 students to perform to their potential. As a result, the students excel in every way, academically, musically, and athletically. The extracurricular organizations are nationally competitive, Model UN, Odyssey of the Mind, Knowledge Masters, FCCLA, FBLA, and more. In addition, the music and theater programs are ranked among the best in the state. The students graduate from a supportive and enriching environment, ready to take on the challenges that await them, ready to be the change as they journey through life. The JP Senior Students, Seniors of the Month embody all these attributes and all that is great about our school community. Please welcome the two co-principals as they introduce the students. Congratulations to all students here tonight and parents on the wonderful accomplishments that you have achieved over the last four years and the road and the journey to those accomplishments. The students representing J.P. Stevens are a truly diverse and accomplished group of individuals. They have excelled in mathematics, science, the humanities, the arts. They're so involved in co-curriculars and yet they still have time to give back to their communities. It's, they are outstanding representatives for JP, and it's a privilege for us to be here with you tonight. I would like to call the students up at this time. Joe Baga, Chad Belouche, Jillian Curry, Lauren Dent, Amrit Iyer, Jeffrey Lowe, Trividia Malady, Julia Maxim, Aswina, Brenna Sigi, Kanika Sakadeva, David Shaw, Anjana Shridhar, John Sue, Igneshwar, 
Subarayan, Catherine Soon, Ryan Zempel, Allison Tan, Sophia Tan, <coughs> Catherine Yee, and Samuel Zhang. Let's give them a round of applause. We need to recognize them. Nice job, ladies and gentlemen. And I, 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 I think a lot as I walk around and watch these things going on. And I have to tell you, the excitement and energy that's at the uh, Wednesday morning breakfast when they 